Good morning. We're going to get my hip checked out. I want to, I'm hoping the doctor says I can chuck those things in the trash because I hate them. I'm annoyed. You got an update on MRI. So we're going to come and get images. Yep. We're excited because we're at the Bale Mayo Sports. Sports. Because I'm, I'm an athlete. I don't feel like an athlete right now. I haven't worked out in a month and I feel like junk. Yeah, we'll give you an update when we get in there and we receive the back. So. Yeah, if only they knew about my impeccable basketball skills. <laughs> yeah, you're they, running and dribbling at the same time is like they would the be best signing in the state. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to work school activities yesterday? <laughs> yes. Uh, are you okay with that? Would you prefer shorts? Cool. Dr. Cora's PA, Katie. I'm going to get some information about your hip, okay? Okay. So tell me about this hip. When did it all start bothering you? Um, so I had a motorcycle crash in Florida. Okay. It was about it was five weeks from today. Okay. And so it was a combination of things. Like I, I broke the, the, the hip or the pelvis. Mm -hmm. And then on both sides, three vertebrae. Do you think they're gonna let you keep those really nice shorts? <gasps> but just wait when your insurance bill comes, those are gonna be at least a hundred bucks. Yep, <laughs> at least. Like some kid in China is reveling right now, knowing that they're about to make a hundred dollars. And not even to keep them, it's just gonna oh, be a hundred dollar cleaning fee. They won't get that. Money, you know, it should just be capris. Yes. Capris only. I like this. Easy caprizi. Because that's all you do is roll up your pants. Like, just start making fashionable capris. Five right. weeks ago? Yep. How'd you do it? Um, it was, I was hitting a turn and then it was a triple in the, or a triple jump. Yeah. And my bike went from second gear to neutral. Okay. I must have hit it with my boot. So, like, all my momentum got lost and I went over the bars. So. Yeah. Slammed the ground pretty good. Yeah, had some spine injuries. Yeah, as well, rib injuries. No rib, just okay. yeah, the the transverse process, okay. and then I believe AC separation. AC separation. They never did actually like look into it, okay. but it's I mean it's sticking up, so I would yeah. assume it's okay. And then the hip, you had the pelvic fracture. Yep. So like did an exam under anesthesia, and they determined that you didn't need any surgery for it. Yep. Okay. Yep. So. So yeah, and they told me no weight bearing for six weeks or so. Yeah. So I've been trying not to, but I mean, it feels like I could be walking right now. I just don't know. I, I want to get, yeah, see the x-rays first. And you're still x -rays. using the crutches? Yeah. Okay. How's the pain in the hip? Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. Okay. I'm going to press on a couple of spots up there. Okay. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? No. Any pain down there? No. Okay. Oh, it's definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the ball is called the femoral head. It's on the end of the thigh bone and it fits into the socket called the acetabulum. Mm -hmm. okay. Around the socket is this purple tissue. That purple tissue is called the labrum. It helps to keep the ball in the socket. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is the hip joint right here and this is the pelvis up here. This is the SI joint right here. You okay. sacrum, your sit bone, and the rest of the pelvis up. And then you can see some early callus formation. Callus is early bone, so soft bone that's kind of forming to heal that fracture line. Yeah. Um, but I don't think the fracture is healed at this point. Okay. So we know you have a fracture. There's no increased displacement of the fracture, and you have some borderline hip impingement. Okay. I think it's reasonable to continue the conservative path. Um, when was the accident? Five weeks ago, Katie? Yeah. So we usually want you on crutches for six weeks. Okay. okay. At six weeks time, we usually transition you to weight bearing. So you start some partial weight bearing, go down to one crutch and then go down to no crutch. Uh -huh. I'd like to have that guided by physical therapy so we can set that up for you. But ultimately this should heal without any problems. Yeah. We usually use like uh, physical therapy providers like Vibrant or OSI. Those are pretty common ones. So, because once you get off crutches, then they'll start strengthening um, and you'll be able to do a lot more, obviously. Yeah. So. Two months. Until it's fully healed. It's not two months from now. It's two months from the accident. 
Yeah, but they just said, come back in two and a half months for another x-ray. Yeah, but the PT is really what's going to give you the the goal to like road bike and do more stuff. Not necessarily that. And you know, you look, you look so much less angry with a mask off. I told you it's my eyes. I have RBF in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Not my rest of my face. It's why the mask is, is a rough time for me. Everyone thought I was mad all day long. But it also kind of worked out for me because no one talked to me. But Anne, I talk to you when you're angry and mad. I know, but I think you kind of poked the barrel. Oh my god. You just fucking hotboxed us? <laughs> Where's my mask? Hey, that doesn't hey, work. Holy shit. <laughs> what is the matter with you? <laughs> this is what you married. And you say I'm the asshole? Hey. Why are we going up? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't get in this one, dude. He literally just shit himself. <laughs> Don't do it, man. I didn't want him to die. I mean, this COVID won't kill him. It but doesn't that, even smell. I don't know, dude. I, I, can, like, I can taste I it. I smell like daisies. <laughs> I'm crying. Hold on, you guys stay in there. <laughs> you Stop. motherfucker, I will push a cripple. I will break your other hip, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Pep. Yeah. Feeling good. <laughs> she didn't love that. Hips healing good. Um, been off crutches for a week now. Has it been a week? Uh, well, yeah, a week now. The ortho said to wait another week, but we started PT that. So we had the ortho visit on five weeks, Tuesday. And then you had your first PT appointment. Yep. Um, six weeks and you guys ditched the crutches at six weeks and now we're yep. at 6.5 weeks right now. Yeah. Yeah. So the PT kind of thinks that I could be doing things a little bit or pushing things a little bit more at eight weeks. So that would be basically a week and a half from today. Um, that he thinks the bone should be mostly healed. So we'll obviously go back and get that checked up again, but uh, it wouldn't be long after that, after some PT and some exercise that I could probably start riding corner track. And after that, I'm hoping by, you know, early May to mid-May, I'll be uh, back in the swing of things. So, yeah, we're feeling good now, you know, we're, we're walking good, feeling it. <laughs> Got some limited Zach Williams merch. Link down below, I think. Yep. <laughs> hopefully. I'm not smart enough to do that, but hopefully Ann is. And then, yeah, we got this. So, yeah, I figured it'd be fun to get some. And, uh. Help support it, the racing. It all goes towards buying more dirt bike parts. And getting back on the track. Let's go.